Greetings and salutations, welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard. Playing as Andalusia. Where we last left our nation, we were invading Manshi. Trying to just get some more money and land for our subjects. These guys need more land. We're not trying to feed them or them. We're just doing a very quick war. Seventy ducats. Caddo. I'm not even sure what Caddo is. Navajo, do you someone protecting you? You. You're another good target. But you've got forts. They're outdated, but yeah, we'll, we'll take them out. And let's just build up our forces here until we run out of manpower. Still need to upgrade our fleet. And we still need to embrace that institution. So yeah, we'll save up cash for that first, before we pay off any debt. I forgot that we hadn't even embraced it. Oh, his army's getting bigger. At least there's that. Okay, they got that under control, so we'll kill this one and that one. Make them like us even more. <laughs> the rebels are passing through there. Yeah, let's get some money. We can easily get more piety by invading one of these people. For instance, them. Eh, let's get that done. And then it should be cheaper to get this next level of tech. And they exiled themselves. Sadly, they're not very happy with this. Okay, any more revolts? Uh, nothing too big.
1577. Just a couple months. Unless we get their cash. Okay, they're up here. If they don't kill that, we will. Okay, hurry it up. I bring down this for exhaustion. Okay, there we are. Embraced. Take them out. 100 ducats. Ducats is 100 ducats. Definitely not leaving them with the fort. Another couple hundred ducats. Do have a nice general there. Yeah, we need to save up a thousand ducats to pay off their debt. Eleven hundred. Okay, well, seem to be doing all right at the moment. Oh, there's Caddo. So I'm hoping these guys will stabilize financially and in terms of rebels. Ooh, Hunnamans are having trouble. Portugal Papal State. And so. I guess we could attack Portugal beat up on Castile and just isolate them in the peace deal. And then attack them again. Alright, our army is almost built back up to where we wanted it. We need 6,000 more guys. Just a little over our force summit. Not substantially so. Take these guys. Thirteen hundred dead. How are they doing that? I mean, obviously we don't have to pay off the debt of our subjects. I like them being strong so that they can help out. This is pretty ridiculous. They're, they're clearly a drain on our resources now. We just let them bankrupt themselves. 
over and over and just collect the gold. Sorted out themselves, we have plenty of prestige. How many trips did we actually bring? 11. We may not be able to get there before they actually seize that port. Yeah. Now we'll just land here. Let's give him this journal. Okay, why is Omaha? So upset with this. Why is Let's not sink it? Oh, there. Separatism, war exhaustion, discontent, non accepted cultures, intolerance, religious union. Okay, so just the full gamut. Not gonna pay for that guy. Let's work on our allies. Get a lot more ships if we need them. Drop these guys off here, just in case we need them. And we really should get some more transports. Okay, we're gonna have to fight them soon. Question is, do we support the independence of Portugal? Um, their subjects. We attack Portugal directly, or do we not care about Castile's subjects or allies and just attack them? They're slowly getting that war exhaustion down. Disorder, discontent, and they're decreasing that autonomy. Just let it take down naturally, guys. Five more troops. Definitely need more here and more back there. Wow, they're up to fifteen hundred death themselves. What is wrong with you guys? Seriously. 1300 dead. It 
So I'm making 11, 12 buckets a month. No, not so much for them. Like these guys, they really don't have like ten thousand manpower. Oh, that's so hard to pass up. We need prestige. We need to play it. These guys don't even really have a lot of forts. A few forts, but. How would you decrease the autonomy? They're going to have peasants rise up. Yeah, I think we'll hold off until we have some manpower. And none of our subjects have any. War exhaustion. put us well over our limit, so we should buy some buildings that give us higher force limit. They're going to be fighting. We're just going to intervene. Try to beat around that bush. Let's see if we have any state level edicts that we wanted to turn off. Let's uh, promote military. Okay. At least we'll have multiple subjects working together to bring these guys down. And we'll be involved, so that'll speed up the process. We got 146 ducats. We'll go for this ourselves. I'm sure they'll attack up there. We'll kill these guys. Wish we could forbid our subjects from lowering autonomy manually. I 
25k more. Let's do that. And we'll head up here in anticipation for that rebellion. Team 20. I guess they're out of debt. 180 ducks. I have 54 ducks. Better not go into that. It's just that was probably from some sort of event. Hoping that their budgets are going to balance after this. Sure, we'll do that. Make it grow a little more quickly. Exhaustion to get them. Okay, it's just our cannons. Got some gold. We really should get some more big ships for these guys as well. I'd love to upgrade these. But we're just having to spend all of our money on keeping our subjects afloat. Oh, let's go ahead and bring this down. Like we've got all of this occupied. Are they in? Okay, so we're in a separate war. Okay, how we're gonna do that then is take all their cash and concede the region. Hope. Hope that gives them enough land. That they'll be okay. And they're running around with a 30 stack. 31 stack. Should be pretty tough. Oh, give us that kind of impression for no reason.
Okay, now if they work together, they should be able to kill any rebels that are going to pop up. I think. Isn't that the British colony? And they're allied to the Ogdens, Castile. How did they do that without... With the Overlord being involved? They're... Two us? There's two Australians. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, there's Australia. And you know, there's Australia. And they'll increase our force summit. We're gonna leave these guys. Well, we want one more army. Back over here. We got beat up on Castile again. Brazil. I don't think that's a smart move on their part. Because they don't have enough trips for that. Let's see if they have any debt. They do. And they're allowed 21 units. They have 18. So let's send them a gift. Not big. I'm leaving our subjects in the lurch, though. But these guys have their teeth there. They did. Okay. I'm getting ready for this invasion once again. They do have an army up here. Don't have as many forts any longer. And we should really wait until we have another general up there. And then I'll attack. Okay, still got three war exhaustion. So did they. Not helping that they're in a war. Okay, let's get this general. 
And we'll start things up. So with their capitals, so we'll take Toledo. We can get Tunis and Morocco in here, because the Papacy and Portugal are going to be involved. Really should put whoever has the best siege. Score in charge there. And hopefully wipe them out in the first battle. No quite. That was a good start. Let's start building up some spy power to make sure that this fort surrenders to us quickly. They want to do things. I get killed by my trade fleet. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, so we lost a couple ships there. Let's get them back in port. And now they're strong. Okay, hopefully that ended this war. No, they're in two separate wars. Oh, look at Tunis. Landing over there. I think we'll take some of these forts. And we'll keep that one. I've generally left Aragon alone. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that this time. I think I want those forts. And you remember that Castile has stuff over there in Italy. Okay, Toledo is ours. They're locked in here. So we'll go there and see how long it's going to take us to capture that fort. like sitting on mountain forts like this, but we've got to capture them. Otherwise, they'll control movement through, and that tends to lead to disaster, where we suffer setbacks and run out of manpower. Hopefully our subjects will be able to deal with this. And let's bust that as soon as we can. Okay, so we need one more cannon for that.
if we could knock out some of their allies early, like the Papacy, we'll try doing that. Worry about all that at the end. I guess we did crack the walls there. But they're allowed up to three breaches and we can force one. Okay, let's get these guys in the port for a month and then have them blockade some stuff. If these are flung pretty rapidly, we're running out of mem. But we'd normally at this point in the war we'd be running out of men because we'd be fighting them. I'm not seeing them really resist us over here. Try to win that battle. And get a naval blockade up here, and then we'll do one over here. Get some money. And we are going to develop here again. We'll probably take this early so that we can start another idea group of some sort. Not sure what we'll want. Possibly economic, just to make our economy stronger. Let's keep an eye on our time. 37 minutes, I'll 